Let's take a quick look at um, seasons ending from some selected companies. Okay, we have Airtel Africa, we have um, Unilever Q3 reports here, and we also have Cadbury Q1 reports here. So before we wrap up now in 30 seconds, Ambrose, what is your assessment of this selected company's earning, and what are your projections? Yeah, as you mentioned, Airtel, Airtel released their full year result ended uh, March 31st, 2023, which is the, the first uh, Auditor that can come from those uh, that has the uh, match at year end, and the number was missed. But good that they also be able to make the uh, dividend uh, payment. Every investor is looking at at the end of the year what is in for me, and that's why they put hope or faith in that company. Good that they pay, but because they operate in almost more than a uh, twelve, uh, you know, state of uh, twelve countries, I believe that Etta is a place to be, knowing that it's a dual listing company that you can you know buy here and sell. They are also they are to a sector that we can see that how they are supporting. Know our GDP here. On that note, I think we're covered. The number for me is TV, but for those that will want to play defensive or don't want to play book, uh, big after, they can go to other, you know, you don't mention like uh, Cabri that is Q1. And I've said it here, nearly all of us, that the Q, you know, world result that came is what really boosted investor confidence because that most of the companies that were marked down for their for their dividend in this Q1 because of the results were positive. Because more of them had abandoned, you no, know, that means that there's something people are seeing in the market. That positive sentiment for these numbers because that indicator where the economy is going or where the market is going. Because I told you earlier that if for you to add against inflation, because most of them are having a you no know, 50%, 40% mm -hmm. growth on their top line and bottom line, it tells you that at the end of the year, this will support their payout. And you know, they invest in the market for what? For dividend and All for right. better appreciation. All right, I always love your analysis, Ambrose. But let me get Charles' uh, view on this. We're wrapping up now in 30 seconds. Seconds now, the, uh, the corporate earnings now, despite the headwinds that will be faced in the country, some of these companies are actually doing well in terms of their revenue generation. What do you think is responsible for the significant growth? Charles, are you there? Okay, if we can't can get Charles now, let me get um, the view of um, Mr. management of these companies. Charles, are you with us? I'm with you. So go ahead. What management do you think is of this company? Okay, go ahead. Yes, you, you are lo looking at those numbers. You can see prudent management okay. of these companies by these managers adopting corporate governance. That is why we are seeing this kind of result. Yes, you can see uh, the dividend per share. You can see above five cents for Airtel. It is just simply the managers are managing this company prudently and at the same time adopting corporate governance principle of course you also know that the product that they are selling is something that all of us need so i believe that if the government can even learn from the managers of this corporate organization we will see a better nigeria our economy will improve like right. you have said these right. companies are operating okay. in our environment okay thank you they have decided to take the bull by the arm they are not waiting for the government so irrespective of what the government does irrespective of the economy they are there for business and they need to get yeah, the figures right the of the population and that is good and they need to get their <laughs> figures right yeah. so people let me get the, the view of uh, mr kofi on this what is your projection do you see some of these companies maintaining this sustained growth as we launch into the the, the, the third quarter of the year of course, we are seeing it. Yes, we are yes. all living money <laughs> of what Cadbury did. Cadbury was trading 10 naira. Today, it's trading 16 naira, gaining more than 50 percent. And we have seen what happened to Peter. From 8 naira, now you are talking 14 naira. So it shows you that the market is ready to reward the performance of this company. And this company are ready to prove beyond reasonable doubt they are all out for us.